Hi, I'm Swart Pepper and welcome to another Alpine Airsoft review. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, please consider subscribing. Feel free to comment and check the description for more details on the rifle. What stood out for me was how it feels when you shoulder this rifle. A sense of control and power. It just fits like a glove. Very ergonomic and very solid feeling. As mentioned earlier, these rifles are part of G&G's advanced range. That means it comes standard with the latest G2H electronic gearbox which features 8mm bearings and a built-in electronic trigger and MOSFET unit. The MOSFET is programmable to 3 and 5 round burst modes. Another exciting feature of this gearbox is the mag empty cutoff. The rifle stops firing if there are no BBs in the magazine and if you use the special magazine that ships with it it also has a fully functioning bolt release feature. So with every mag change you first need to press the bolt release to continue firing. The G2H gearbox has also been reinforced to be stronger in the front and at the top than the normal version 2 gearbox. To round out the internals, the gearbox features a quick spring change as well. This rifle features full ambi controls. That includes the mag release, the bolt release and the fire selector which you'll find on both sides of the receiver. The receiver has a bullet aluminium design and features a very aggressive style. The mag well is nice and big to make for some quick and easy mag changes. All the control buttons are laid out very ergonomic and have a raised rim around to make sure you don't bump any of them by accident. The pistol grip is nicely shaped and very comfortable to hold. It comes with an adjustable stock that is very easy to use. It's got space for nickel metal hydrate batteries as well as smaller lipos. At the bottom is a small storage compartment to store small items like a fuse or even a AA battery. It comes with a very nice 40 round mid cap magazine that works with the bolt release feature of the rifle. On the front end, there's some decent real estate in the rail department, sporting a metal keymard rail with a very sturdy flip up sight in the front and at the back of the rifle. To round off the front end, you will find a low key muzzle brake tucked away in the front of the rail. These rifles are superbly made and assembled. As part of G&G's advanced range, that is to be expected. The metal bullet receiver is solid and the metal key mod rail brings a very good balance to the rifle. Overall, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for build quality. Being that this rifle is part of G&G's top tier rifles, it is not on the cheap side budget wise, but it represents a very good value for money with features that really makes sense. I think it also answers a lot of the needs in the airsoft market. It is a very capable outdoor assault rifle and with minimal change morphs into an awesome DMR rifle. Let's face it, that is why someone would want to buy this rifle. The only minor drawback is the fact that it cannot be programmed to semi-only locked. You would have to put a physical stopper on the selector for it to be a field legal DMR. 
This rifle is currently available at Walker Wargames and they will also be stocking the magazines for it.